Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamInsider.com. Today, we're talking about JoJo Earl. Just posted his senior highlight tapes. Going to provide some commentary. What I like about him, definitely hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. As you can see from this first play, he's got an incredible ability to separate himself from the defense because he has a great top-end speed. Now, JoJo Earl is not an early enrollee. He'll be here in the summertime with his class of 2021. So Alabama is bringing in three wide receivers um, in the the early enrollment period, but Jojo Earl will get here in the summertime. I don't think it's going to really affect him that much. I think when you look at Alabama's receiving room currently, they don't have a lot of players like Jojo Earl, right? They got some bigger wide receivers coming back, a couple guys um, that have experience at John Mechie, but Jojo Earl is, is a different type of player. Kind of, um, you know, I, I don't want to just use, you know, comparisons to Jalen Waddle because Jalen Waddle is a, an incredible player, but kind of that similar vibe of, of a guy who has great shiftiness, is really explosive. And I think, for example, watching this play right here, you can see that he makes a great cut on this post route, is able to separate himself from the defensive back, and then, you know, it's a, it's a big play. So in that regard, you know, that's something that we saw Jalen Waddle do from the slot position as well. Alito did a great job in 2020 utilizing him all over the field, even put him at the Wildcat package, which I thought was great. Used him at the slot position. You're going to see a lot of him in the Wildcat in this uh, in this highlight segment. I um, think he needs to polish up a little bit on, on some of his route running abilities, but that's really the only critique. I, I think that um, he's coming in with just a, a great ability overall because he has such great instincts and he has such a great ability to accelerate. Now, the acceleration um, and the cutback ability is something that I think sets him apart, even from the Alabama receiving room. You look at some of the guys, as mentioned early on, um, you know, there's not a lot of guys that return that have that ability. And that's why it was so important for Nick Saban to go after a guy like Jojo Earl, even a guy like Christian Leary. Look, the receiving room is certainly going to benefit from him, but I also think the special teams game, as you can see right here, returning this punt, taking it to the house, making people miss, and that overall top end speed is going to have, um, you know, special teams uh, guys really worried about giving him the ball. And that's something that you want because that creates, um, you know, a better field position for your offense. So overall, Jojo Earl, his, his senior highlight tape is um, something that, you know, is really just a, a pleasure to watch. If you're, you know, want an exciting player that has um, good speed, good power, good instincts, and, um, you know, just can make you uh, hold your breath every time he touches the football, then Jojo Earl is your guy. Um, during his junior season, I believe he caught for 84 receptions for 1,600 yards. I don't have his senior stats, but I'm sure they were ridiculous as well. Um, even contributed for Alito as a sophomore. He has a lot of experience, very good hands, and, you know, it, it's just hard to tackle this kid. He, and, and that comes down to just having the instincts and being slippery. You want these type of guys at the college level, probably going to put a few more pounds on him, get him in the weight room with Dr. Um, Matt Ray and David Ballou, who have done a great job working with these guys overall. And, um, you know, just, just really excited to see what he, he can do with, at Alabama. I, I don't know how early he's going to contribute. I would say probably sooner than later because of the fact that, you know, Alabama does need a, a slot wide receiver to step up. I, I'm curious to see how they utilize guys like John Mechie, Jalil Billingsley, and which other wide receivers step up this year. I think, you know, going into this season – um, Alabama is going to have some room for some guys to step up. Is it going to be some of these freshmen um, that are coming in? Ja'Cory Brooks, uh, Ajay Hall, Christian Leary, Jojo Earl. And, you know, it could be some other guys that uh, were freshmen this past season. Trayshawn Holden, Tyler Jones-Bell, um, you know, Javon Baker, as we've talked about. Even Slade Bolden got himself plenty of experience this last season. So, you know, in, in years past, we've seen Alabama just kind of um, have these – returners at the wide receiver position with a lot of experience right over the last couple of years jerry judy henry ruggs jalen waddell Devonte smith that's not necessarily the case this year um, going into the season outside of john mechie so this is a great opportunity for a lot of these wide receivers to come in show what they can do during the springtime again jojo earl is not um an early and en en enrollee and i don't think that's gonna you know affect him too much because you know when you look at the season standpoint when these guys do come in in the summertime um, of course, he's already figuring out, um, you know, the playbook and the schematics. And look, everybody's going to be um, new from that standpoint, considering that Bill O'Brien is taking over as the offensive coordinator. I don't think the play scheme is going to change too much for Alabama, but there's going to be some new terminology. So uh, Jojo Earl will have that ability during the springtime and the summertime to learn um, the playbook and then come in 
and be ready to go for fall training camp. There's always a couple freshmen who stand out and step up at the University of Alabama. We saw that a lot uh, during the 2020 season uh, on the defensive side, right? You got Malachi Moore, Tim Smith, Brian Branch, um, William Anderson, all these guys really stepping up. Not so much on the offensive side, but I think that's going to change in 2021 because Alabama needs some playmakers to rise up, whether that's going to be at the offensive line or at the receiver position. Hey, even the quarterback position, right? I mean, Bryce Young, Paul Tyson, Jalen Milrow, all those guys are listed as freshmen going into 2021. So um, overall, just really delighted to just check out JoJo Earl's highlights. A big playmaker coming to the University of Alabama. Look, guys are always going to step up at this level. Alabama is going to always have elite level talent. And JoJo Earl uh, coming to Alabama is um, really something to be excited about. I'm going to let these highlights play, but I just wanted to provide some commentary, um, you know, about JoJo Earl and things that stand out. Because overall, uh, this receiving room with bringing in four guys in from the class of 2021, all the guys provide something a little bit different. Uh, Ja'Cory Brooks, uh, you know, kind of that guy who can create mismatches on the outside. Ajay Hall is your physical wide receiver. Christian Leary is that guy who just has speed to burn. And then JoJo Earl is your cutback kind of slot receiver that can make you miss and can also contribute on the special teams. Hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I'll leave you checking out the rest of uh, JoJo Earl's highlights, and uh, we'll catch up soon right here on BamaInsider.com.